Hey guys, Suraj here from The Milk Class Breaker. In today's video, let's talk and understand the exam preparation strategy that one should follow in order to excel or perform well in MIT online examination. So without much further ado, let's get into the video. So folks, before entering into the video, if you're someone new to my channel and if you still haven't subscribed, I kindly request you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm pushes this particular video or information to someone who's looking out for the same information out there. Now, talking about the exam preparation strategy, before that, you need to understand the exam process and how the marks are divided. Now, the exam process is pretty simple. You have an internal exam, then you have an external exam. Internal exam is of 30 marks and it's an open book exam. What do I mean by an open book exam? You could go ahead and refer books during the assignment. You could refer Google during the assignment. You could refer any resource that is available at your end and you could score easy 30 marks. As simple as that, there is no strategy in order for you to do it there because you get the questions, you just have to refer your uh, materials that is there on the LMS or the videos that is there on the LMS. Simple as that. Now, you need to follow the strategy in your end term examination because that's not an open book. It's proctored and it is proctored by humans from the other end from MIT online. Now, in your end term examination, there are three sections, section A, B and C. On A, you have descriptive questions. You have four questions out of which you need to attend two. In B, there are two questions, both are compulsory. In C, you have 20 questions and all 20 are MCQs. Now in A, it is for 15 marks. In B, it is for 15 marks. And in C, it's for 40 marks. Now let's say that you're at least able to clear one question from both the sections. So you have 7.5 marks in A and you have 7.5 marks in B. And in MCQ, out of 40, let's say you're at least able to score 30 marks. It is, so it is 7.5 marks plus 7.5 marks, which is 15 plus another 30, it is 45 marks. So your 30 marks in your internal assignment and your 45 marks in your end term examination together put together, uh, what did I just say? Together, put together. I just avoid that. So together, it is 75 uh, marks, which is for sure crossing your first class marks. And let's say you consistently do this in all the subjects, your total CGPA and SGPA will come anywhere between 6.7 to 7, which is a good scoring CGPA, right? Now, this is the strategy that you need to follow. Please go through your materials. Material is your Bible or your Mahabharatam or your Quran, whatever, whatever it is. It should be your manual. Please go through the materials, follow each and every section in your book, study everything. Even if you can't buy heart it, please try and understand, read it at least once like a storybook so that, you know, something, you, you know, you could write something related to that particular question rather than leaving it blank. Maybe at least the corrector would give you at least two marks out of 7.5 marks, so which is a good, right? Something is better than nothing. So go ahead and please follow the strategy go through all of your materials uh, thoroughly go through your assignment questions thoroughly prepare well for your particular examination that's happening in the month of feb and march all the best for your examination i will meet you in the next video i'm planning to do a series of my exam video on how it went for me so if you want to go through it and if you still haven't subscribed go ahead and click on that subscribe button also give it a thumbs up so with that i will end today's video i will meet you on the next video till then suraj here signing off from tmcb peace mm -hmm.